Now that you hopefully know more about the basics of cryptography, private key, public key, and more just what the whole point of cryptography is, we'll dive a little deeper and discuss the specific cryptography that Bitcoin uses, and we'll discuss how it uses it. Because right now, I know you're probably saying, how does a example of a coded pick and roll system with LeBron translate to computers talking to each other? And if you stick with me, I'll make it all make sense, I promise. The specific type of asymmetric cryptography used by Bitcoin's blockchain is called elliptic curve digital signature algorithm. The elliptic curve digital signature algorithm is a secure digital signature system based on elliptic curve cryptography. You don't need to know every single detail about ECDSA for our purposes with blockchain and Bitcoin, but there are some key details you need to know to have a solid understanding of how Bitcoin works. ECDSA begins with elliptic curve, and we will start there as well. This is the standard geometric representation of an elliptic curve. This isn't what an actual elliptic curve looks like, but it's fundamentally to scale and good for educational purposes. Elliptic curve cryptography is a type of cryptography that uses elliptic curves to create mathematically linked private and public keys. Elliptic curve math enables computers to multiply a public generator point on the curve by an integer that remains secret, aka the private key, resulting in a public key on the same curve. So getting into it, Bitcoin uses a specific elliptic curve and set of mathematical constraints as defined in a standard called SECP 256K1. This is a cryptography standard established by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, basically the governing body of, of cryptography. The SECP 256 K1 curve satisfies the formula y squared equals x cubed plus 7 over a finite field of P, and it produces a very specific elliptic curve. This formula defines the curve and possible points used as values for Bitcoin's private and public keys. It starts to get more complex here. What you need to take from this is this formula defines a specific curve that gives us specific points that Bitcoin uses to create public and private keys. We will, of course, expand into that in more detail, uh, but that is the groundwork for now. Before we get into all of that, because I know it's confusing, y cubed, x squared, we'll brush up on our grade school algebra lessons of plotting lines on a grid using linear math over a simple x and y axis, which is much more simple than elliptic curve math. For example, the formula y equals 3x minus 1 would give us the following line. This line is simply a sequence of points that satisfies the formula y equals 3x minus 1. So every point you see, the x and y coordinates make the equation true, y equals 3x minus 1. To prove it, let's look at three points that are easily plottable, and we'll do the math. We'll start with the top point. The x-coordinate of this point is 1. If we plug that value into the formula, we get y equals 3 times 1 minus 1. When you do that math, 3 times 1 equals 3 minus 1, y equals 2. That would result in the coordinates of 1 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. If you look at the point, this checks out because the coordinates of the point are 1 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. This could also be interpreted as an x-coordinate of 1 results in a y-coordinate of 2 along the curve specified by y equals 3x minus 1. Let's look at the second point to reinforce this theme. 
x coordinate at this point is zero. And if we plug that value into the formula, we get three times zero minus one. When you do that math, three times zero equals zero, you subtract one, you end up with y equals negative one, or coordinates of zero on the x axis and negative one on the y axis. Again, this checks out because our points coordinates are zero on the x axis and negative one on the y axis, or can be interpreted as an x coordinate of zero results in a y coordinate of negative one along the line specified by y equals 3x minus 1. Makes sense, right? Lastly, for our third point, the coordinate of this point is negative 1. If we plug that value into the formula, we get 3 times negative 1 minus 1. When we do that math, we come out with a y coordinate of negative 4, which checks out because our point's coordinates are negative 1 along the x-axis, and negative four along the y-axis. Again, this can be interpreted as an x-coordinate of negative one results in a y-coordinate of negative four. As you see, the line drawn is a direct result of the specific formula used. If we used a different formula besides y equals three x minus one, we would have a different line with a different slope. And the same remains true for Bitcoin's SECP 256K1 curve specified by the formula y squared equals x cubed plus 7. Like our linear math example, the SECP 256K1 curve represents a series of points that satisfy the x and y coordinates in the formula. Every Bitcoin transaction involves public keys and private keys derived by using the elliptic curve specified by the SECP 256K1 standard. Now I hope this formula is starting to make a little more sense to you. That this formula defines a possible range of points along this curve. But how exactly do we get the public and private key, you ask? Good question. The answer to that lies in the trapdoor function of this curve, represented by a different formula. Capital K equals lowercase k multiplied by g. Within this trapdoor function, capital K and capital G both represent specific points along this curve. The elliptic curve trapdoor function is as follows. Find lowercase k such that capital K equals lower k times g, where g is a generator point represented by x and y coordinates along the curve. Lowercase k is the private key, and capital K is the resulting public key represented by coordinates along the curve. As you see from the formula, the private key is the number of times the generator point was multiplied by to arrive at the public key. Please take note that this trapdoor function for the public key uses the private key as a variable. This gives the two a mathematical link that cannot be broken or changed. With the elliptic curve trapdoor function, every time lowercase k, the private key, changes, uppercase k, the public key, changes as well.